learned from my mistakes and I am going to get on my trusty phone here and see if people are joining me because the comments are not popping up here on me or maybe they will if I do this. Um, let's see here. live chat there we go let's see oh there we are hey there's everybody people are joining in okay there we go i'm just gonna make sure everything is going well on my phone it is saying that we're live all righty there everybody is hello everybody yay this is always my favorite part of going live is because i get to see everybody who's joining me and you will see there that there is a guy named Jay in there, and he's got the blue wrench. We do have a moderator in here, so um, the comments are being watched by everybody. So that is a good thing. We've got that covered. But, of course, if any of you see anything inappropriate, you know you can just go ahead and report them as well. But Jay is on it. And so let's all say thanks to Jay for helping me out today. So if everybody could just where you are from I like to do some shout outs here in the first couple minutes just recognizing where everybody is from chatting with you for a minute before we jump into painting these windows and so yes yes everybody's saying thanks to Jay yes you all want to see who Jay is go on to Facebook and look at my post <laughs> let's just embarrass him shall we <laughs> that's fun times yeah that's fun Hey, okay, so I'm going to start saying hi, Karen in New York. We've got Oregon here. We've got Arizona, Tennessee, Northern Ireland. I love it. Georgia, New York, North Carolina again. I have good times there, huh? Yay, Baltimore, Massachusetts, Indianapolis, Minnesota, Colorado, California, whoop, whoop, Bakersfield, yes. Louisville, Kentucky, Washington, Holland, I'm loving it, Norway, oh my goodness, all the way over there, Utah, <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina, Indiana, Philadelphia, Georgia, Mississippi, South Carolina, Brooklyn, Florida, Utah again, oh, Belinda's in here, yes, okay, Jay, so Linda's helping you moderate too, yes, Ohio, Massachusetts, Brooklyn, New York, Saratoga, Arkansas, I am loving it. Rosa from Arkansas as well. Sharon from Georgia. Ruby from South Dakota. I'm going to try and say your names. Elizabeth from North Carolina. Alma from Northeast Pennsylvania. Lady J from Houston. We've got Kimberly. Oh, they're disappearing now. Marilyn. Oh my goodness. Hello to you all. There are 177 of you. Yay. I'm loving it. Don't overlook Connecticut. Never, Tracy. I will not overlook that. <laughs> Buffalo, New York. Wow, there are so many of you. Nancy, New York Upstate. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hey, everybody. I am loving it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I am so, wow. How fun is this? Whoop, whoop. Ruby, I love it. Ontario, that is close, too, as well. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Arkansas loves you. Thank you. I love you too. Pennsylvania. Hi. Hello. Oh, continue to be blessed. Thank you, Elizabeth. I will. Thank you. You too. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you alive. Thank you, Janet. I'm glad to be alive. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, hello from LA. I'm loving it. Thank you from outer space. Somebody's got a sense of humor there. That's funny. Love it. Oh my goodness, there are so many of you. We have got 215 people joining us right now. San Diego, yes, Tennessee, Western Pennsylvania says hi. Hi, everybody. From New Jersey, can't wait to see what you're going to do today. So what am I doing? Oh, somebody says hello to Allison. I wish she was here. Did she say hi in there? Was my little alley girl in the comments and I didn't see her? very good oh there is amber oh there you are peter hi amber she is a good friend of mine oh Allie is in there hi mama hi my love <laughs> she is here oh to please hit the like button thank you yes hit the like button everybody that helps it always helps 
England. Oh my goodness, I am loving it. Okay, this camera looks just a bit crooked, I'm thinking. I am going to do a no-no and totally give you an up-close view of my face. Oh my word, yeah, I have no makeup on today, people, because we are painting. Um, I love you. My phone and TV so I can talk. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out Alabama. Yes, I will, Sally. Of course, 233 of you. Oh my word, I think I'm humbled. I actually am. Oh, I'm so glad. Who is Jay, your husband? <laughs> no, Jay is not my husband. He is a very good friend of mine that um, I took away from my online dating and no, I am not dating him. He is just a good friend. And so, yes, I'm super happy that he's laughing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yes, hit that like button, everybody. We're excited to see you live. I'm excited to be live today. So, um, oh, from Missouri. Show me Missouri here, yes. How long before we get to craft? Oh, I'm, I'm not crafting today. I am going to paint. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I am going to paint my windows and I do like to recognize all of you here before I jump into it because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And so, um, <laughs> Kelly, can you say your intro? You love it, Denise. Really? You want me to say it? Okay, I'll say it. Uh, why not? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking, where is the red button here? The red button down there. What, what did somebody just say? <laughs> you can say my intro. Yes, that is the intro. So there you are, click that red button. And yeah, there we go. I just lost my train of thought there, but it's okay. You always love my windows. Okay, so don't quit gabbing. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna quit gabbing today because I'm live. So if you don't like the gabbing, live feed probably isn't for you. But um, you don't see a like button. There should be one there. Scottsdale. Okay, so what am I doing today? Today I decided that I was gonna start painting my windows. And this is a tradition that Kayla and I started. I wanna say this is gonna be the fourth year that we've done it. And we started it in honor of my mom. So my mom passed away a few years ago. And um, this was something that she used to come to our house and do every year for us because she loved painting windows. She would be one of those people who went to the stores and painted their windows for the holidays. And she always did it mostly around Christmas time. And so when she passed away, it was one of those things that I missed. And it was probably a year after she passed, I decided, you know what, Kayla, I'm not much of an artist when it comes to painting. But um, Kayla will be painting with me in a minute. I just saw that she will be, but she's in school right now doing some work. And so, yeah. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I wouldn't be where I'm at for all of you guys if it wasn't for all of you. You remember last year's snowman, yeah. So I, I decided to really challenge myself and say I wanna take and continue this tradition that my mom started. Um, painting our windows in honor of her. And like I said, freehand painting is not my strong suit. It is definitely Kayla's. She can do it easy peasy. I, on the other hand, I really got to step out of my comfort zone to do it, but you know what? I'm all about challenging myself. And when challenging, you succeed in doing whatever it is that you've challenged yourself into doing, there, there's, you know, a sense of gratification. There's a sense of being successful and it gives you a little bit more self-esteem and more self-confidence in doing whatever it is that you're doing that you just challenge yourself to doing. Whoa, that was a lot, right? Oh my gosh. And so, yeah, this is something that I like to do. And I've noticed that every year I do get a bit better at it. And so um, maybe in 10 years, I'll be as good as my mom was or as good as Kayla is now. But you know what? They turn out pretty great and I love doing it. My neighbors seem to like it. They ask me if I'll do their windows and I have to decline because it just takes way too much time. If I was a bit better and faster, I probably would, but 
you know what, for now, I bring it to you all and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to show you the whole window today. I'm just going to show you as I start it and you all will have to stay tuned for um, the video that's coming up in a couple weeks of the whole finished project to see what it is that I'm doing. And so I've got my reference picture here that I am not going to show you. And so um, talk so fast I can keep up. How do you... <laughs> Right. It, talking fast is probably my nerves a little bit. I'm not going to lie. When I go live with you all, I do get nervous. And so um, I'm a little bit out of focus. Linda, Jay, if you're in there, can you all just pop up and tell me something, please? How out of focus am I? Because I'm on my iPad. So somebody needs to say something to me and it's going to take a minute. I don't know why I would be out of focus. Um, I am in focus. Oh, thank you, Amber. Oh, I am in focus. Okay, so everybody's starting to tell me I'm in focus. Maybe, aw, thank you. Nancy says it's blurry. Everybody's saying fine, fine, fine. Okay. That is Winnie, everybody. Do you hear her? That is totally Winnie. All right, so um, I'm going to scoot over here. I'm going to grab... Okay, so look what I have today. I've got my Starbucks. Do you guys, do you remember, were any of you live? I want to know, tell me here in the comments, if any of you were live when I went live doing that paper crafting DIY and um, I spilt my whole coffee over the paper craft while I was live. <laughs> oh my goodness, talk about bloopers in a live. That is totally Winnie, but yeah. Linda will tell you that that was one of her favorite times when I spilled my <laughs> when I spilled my coffee, and so it literally was a whole cup of coffee, and I just knocked it, and it went psh, all over everything. It was oh my word, it was horrible. But anyway, okay, so I am going to start off by painting my windows, and when I paint these windows, I like to use a craft smart chalk marker. And they come, I want to say, actually Dollar Tree has these smaller ones here. And I think they even have this Galaxy marker. I'm not sure what one this is, but I picked it up. I should do a bloopers video. Yes. Ah, Lori Edder's here. Hi, Lori. She is a longtime subscriber of mine. I want to say, Lori, you've probably been here since I had 100 subscribers. I want to say. We talk fast here in New York. I talk fast because I'm nervous and I'm live. And when I get nervous, I talk fast. <laughs> that you are all human. Yes, yes, yes. That is Winnie. Do you guys hear that? Okay, so um, I like, last year I tried to use um, a dry erase marker and that kind of backfired. I thought the dry erase marker would work best because I could erase it. But when I went to paint over it, I couldn't paint over the dry erase marker. The black kept coming through. And so this year I decided, okay, I'm gonna use a chalk marker. No need to be nervous. Uh, the pressure's on when you're live. I mean, you just get all tongue twisted and whatnot. And so, oh my goodness, Allie, I need you to go in there because she's barking because you're out here. Can I lock it? Locking it has nothing to do with it. She's gonna keep barking, baby. Okay, so if you all don't wanna hear Winnie, she's gonna keep barking there. But yeah, so this year I decided to try it with um, a chalk marker. I've already tried it, it worked great. And um, yes, we are all family, Tracy, for sure. Um, and so I think that this is definitely the better route because I will be able to cover it up. And so um, another thing that I like to use, I do have that actually in white and black. I think those are the only colors I'll need because if I use any other colors, like orange or red, I think that they'll cover the white. And so, yes, and I like to outline my painting when I'm done. Um, you love my pup? Ontario, Canada, hello. I'm also gonna be using some sponge dabbers because I found that when painting my windows, if I sponge the white paint on, if I have a larger area that I'm gonna be covering, the sponge dabber works really great and I don't have to do as many coats. It's like one coat because you can really glob on that paint yeah i said glob that is so what i said because that's what i'm gonna do probably not the wisest um advice but you know what it works and it looks good it gives it texture it adds character and you know i'm all about that and so yes 
So I am going to start off painting, or actually I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna start out by outlining what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna, because this is on my iPad, sorry all, you're gonna bear with me as I fix the view of my camera. No, Allie, leave it. And um, there, I think that is gonna do it. Yes, that'll work. And I think I'm going to do it actually on this window over here. So we're gonna start there. And like I said, I've got a reference picture over here that I'm going to go by. And so, yes, I'm going to start off with my marker. And this is a newer one, or so I thought it was. It sounds like it's in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's coming out. Okay. And so I'm gonna start off by over here. So I'm not looking for perfection here and this pen just does not wanna go. We're just merely, wow, this is just not going, is it? Holy cannoli. Okay, this is not gonna work. This is a newer one. Hold on. We don't need it to be perfect. This is just gonna be where the snow is. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Oh, this pen, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This pen by Craftsmart stinks, but that's okay. Let's see, we're gonna try this one. What, baby? This is in the middle, so I can grab it in half. Oh, no, it's okay. Like, I wonder if it's in the middle. Oh, this is going to be better. Okay, I can already tell. Oh, yes, there we go. That's lovely. Okay, Dollar Tree One works better. Wait, where is it? Dollar Tree One works way better. Okay. Yep, that is the way to go. Okay, so that is the snow, and my snowman is going to be on this side. And so I've got paper towel and some spray cleaner in case I mess up. Um, and I am looking at my reference picture as I do it. Now again, we're not looking for perfection because when I go in with the dabber, we're gonna be able to do it just fine. We'll be able to shape it up better. And so I am not somebody who has an immense amount of artistic skill, let's not forget that. But, whoo, there we go. See, not perfect but it is okay. And the paint that I am using, oh no, I don't have my white chalk paint. Mm -hmm. It's, I think it's in the craft room. Will you get it on the floor? Is it in the paint bin? I think it's on the floor. Um, I need the white, Allie. The white? White, hurry please. Okay, well, while we're waiting for Allie, you remind me of me when I go to draw. I thought I had everything, um, here and ready, but my bad. Um, sorry about that. So we'll just drink some coffee here and I will look at perfect. Hi. Haha. <laughs> okay. So I'm what I'm using to paint my windows is just a regular chalk paint. Waverly's chalk paint, apple barrel. Um, in the past I've had people ask me if um it ruins your windows, if it ruins um, the paint on your house. I, I'm not painting my house, I'm just painting the windows and it's super easy to remove. The window that Kayla typically does is not covered. This one is, and so her window does get rained on from time to time in the winter time, from now until 
I think I want to say I, t I take them down like right around January 15th ish and hers stay up fine and so I think if you just put a generous amount of paint when you're painting your windows um they last through the winter it even snowed and we had them up and it didn't ruin it and so once acrylic paint especially chalk paint is dry it's pretty well on there when I take it off I usually just spray a cleaner over the top of it and I take a paint scraper and it just scrapes right off easy peasy and it takes like five minutes to take it down and so yeah and so I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in the white and I just kind of build up as I do it nothing too fancy um, and again I'm gonna use my sponge dabber and um, the lines that I just made don't even matter and so where is the best way for me we'll start here and so I'm just gonna dab and this adds an element of fun to it and see how it just covers up that chalk and we've got an idea of where we need to go with this and see how thick that is you can see how thick it is as I'm doing it which means I'm not gonna need very I'm not gonna need a second coat somebody here that could read me the comments and I could answer questions while I'm doing this I didn't think of that that would have been the better option so then I could talk to you all hmm how could we do this Amber, are you in the comments still? If you are, say something or call my cell phone. Let's see. Is Amber going to call my cell phone and then she can read me comments? if she's still on. Yeah, it's gonna, you know what? It's really easy to do. Like there really is when doing this, there is no talent needed when you're using a sponge dabber. I encourage everybody to try this. It is so fun. Get your kiddos out here and paint a window. Sketch it out for them and let them paint it with sponge dabbers yeah and it moves pretty quickly when you use it too kayla likes to use a brush kayla's not a sponge dabber person but i am she, oh she's calling haha <laughs> amber's calling okay amber Hello. you're live on youtube <laughs> are you are you gonna stay live for with the live for a little bit Um, do you want to read some of the comments to me and then like pick out a comment and I'll answer it like if anybody's asking any questions sure. Okay, I'm gonna keep you on okay sure. All right, everybody so amber is on she is oh there you are peter one four three And so if you want to ask me any questions while i'm doing this this will give me something to talk about with you all So it's not just this awkward quiet airtime of you watching me paint and then i can answer the questions if you don't mind looking at the back of my head oh my word <laughs> that's probably the worst thing somebody can do but you know what you should see this deal that i've got going on over here it's pretty funny so amber's gonna pick and choose the comments she's gonna find one she's gonna tell me and i'll answer it how's that sound amber that good. perfect yeah, oh yeah they're fine little scarlet she's just my favorite little muffin all right 
No, it is not hard to wash off my window at all. Um, like I said, you just put some spray cleaner on there and it comes right off with um, a paint scraper. And you just scrape it right off after you spray the cleaner on, it comes right off. It takes five minutes. It's so easy. And so, yeah. Um, it does not come off in the snow or the rain once it is dried. It's pretty adhered on. Acrylic and chalk paint really do kind of adhere to the window. Um, it rains quite a bit where I'm at in the winter time, and I've never had a problem with my paint bubbling or coming off. It's pretty, it stayed on there pretty well. I was surprised the first year I did it. Oh, totally. I say do it. Yes. Why not? Say that again. Oh, thank you all. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, huh? Have I ever broke the window? Oh my goodness, knock on wood. I hope not. No, I'm not, it's just a sponge dabber. So, you know, there's nothing to it. And so you can, go ahead. On shirts I've never tried it I say try it why not I wouldn't know what to use though yes I did wash the window yesterday um, I washed it with a razor and um, Dawn soap and I just took a straight-edge razor and just kind of went over the window with the soap on it just to really get it nice and smooth and clean but yeah I did clean it real well before and I did it yesterday because I wanted the window and everything to be good and dry for today. Ouch. Okay, what were you gonna say? Wait, what about the sides? Oh, on the inside, you know what? Uh, I am not good with the reverse paint, um, the art of that. Kayla can do reverse art, paint art, but I also have the problem of my windows being tinted as well, and they are tinted from the inside to reflect the sun away. And so, um, yeah, that wouldn't work for me. But if you are good with like that reverse glass art, that would probably be an awesome um, option for you. Yeah, yeah. Has anybody else painted? Um, I am painting in the front, my front windows. This is actually Allison's bedroom window. Yeah. Yeah, I paint in the front and um, my neighbors all really like it when I do. Has anybody painted their windows since I've done this? I know that some of you have been watching me for a while and some of you in the past have said um, that you were gonna try painting your windows. So I'm wondering if you have. Tell me, I wanna know. You know what, I, I use all of them. I use Apple Barrel. With Apple bar Barrel though, you're gonna find that it is a bit thinner and so you're gonna need more coats. And so if you can, I would go with an acrylic chalk paint because chalk paint by nature is just thicker and it coats better. It's like a one coat paint. And so, yeah, I would definitely, but you can do Apple Barrel. I think I used Apple Barrel actually the first time that I painted my windows. So yeah. Has anybody, did Amber did it? Well, I think you guys should.
Do I light up? Um, yeah, my house is naturally lit up anyway with um, lights in the courtyard. And then when I put the Christmas lights up, you can definitely, um, yeah, you can see it well from the street. Um, this is paint that I had in my stash. It's all Waverly. I'm just using the stuff that I craft with, just good old Waverly paint um, that I can't get my hands on anymore. You all know that dilemma. Um, not really, other than it being uncomfortable when it gets really cold. I think in the past years it got really cold and you saw me out here with a beanie on um, because Kayla can knock her window out in, I want to say, a couple of hours. Um, but I, on the other hand, it, it takes me about four or five hours to do my window. And I really don't mind it because I like what I'm doing. So, um, but yeah, other than it being cold, no might take a little bit longer to dry. Wait, say that again? $12 in Canada? My word, good night. I don't think I would be using that then. Holy moly. Yeah, I would definitely go the route of using an apple barrel then. <sighs> and I like to do snowmen. So that's why I do snowmen. Kayla switches hers up every year. I don't know what she's doing this year, but she'll be out here in a little bit to do her window. Children. Amber, you're fine. You can't even hear it, really. <laughs> if you have to go, tell me, okay? painted their front door and side window. I love it. Did you take a picture? Send me a picture on Facebook or Instagram. I want to see it. I'll make you the crafter of the day. Say that again. Kayla did do a reindeer last year. Yep. And you know what? Oh my word, I forgot to press record on my camera. Hold on. See, I was busy live, and the camera for the video is was not recording. Oopsie. Refer back to live video, please. Haha. <laughs> ha. Yes, I think I'm going to need more white paint. That's okay, though. So, I got to ask, has anybody started their Christmas shopping yet? That's probably a silly question. Or is anybody done with their Christmas shopping? That's a better question. I haven't even started buying. Nope. Haven't you haven't started yours? No, nope, me either. I better get on that. Right? Oh, Kayla's here, everybody. Kayla, come say hi. Everybody was asking about you. No, you're beautiful. Oh, look, everybody, Kayla's here, my beautiful Kayla girl. Get in here and say hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hello. Yes. Hi. That's Amber. Oh, it only says it there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, everybody, this is Kayla. She is my 22-year-old daughter. And so, like I said, this is our tradition that um, we've taken on. This is our fourth year now. Fourth? Third. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. But yes, yeah, so she's going to be right over there painting her window and recording it. And so we're going to upload this together on the same day. And so you'll have to head on over to her channel after I upload mine or head on over to her channel, then head on over to mine. Blah, 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 you know. Yeah, you know the deal. Yeah. Lori Utter saying hi, Miss Kayla. Oh, hello, everyone. 
Isn't he beautiful? Thank you. He beautiful. Yes, Zekiwa, they love you. Tell her she needs to upload more. I'm going to this Tell Wednesday. her, everybody, say upload more. This, 22. this Wednesday. Yes, Kayla's 22. And I have a 27-year-old son as well. And Miss Allie, who's 11. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Jay is moderating. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi, Jay. I will upload more. I'm uploading this Wednesday and Friday. Yes, get on her, people. I'm going to. She doesn't look 22. I know. Okay, so can I tell you that when we go to BJ's every single time? They hand me the kids medicine. They give her. Yeah. <laughs> J, J, J. Yes, they give her the kids menu every time. It is hilarious. But I tell her she'll appreciate that someday. Someday. When she's my age, she'll be grateful that she looks younger than she is. Yeah, that's right. Looks younger than, yeah. So many people are in here. Yay, 440 people. I'm excited. Thank you all for joining me. I know I don't ever typically really craft while I'm doing this, and I'm really not going to make you sit through the whole window. I'm not going to make Jay sit through the whole window because he's moderating. So, um, Amber, I should make you a moderator, too. You told me you do that for some people, huh? See, what's good about this sponge dabber is you can just go back over, like, the areas that kind of have a thinner coat and you don't have to do the whole thing so look at that this is the whole bottom of my snowman already and so um i will tell you that once i um get the snowman done and the whole thing done i do go back and define the lines with um black just because i feel like it really makes it pop a bit more um i learned that from kayla oh there's winnie do you guys want to see winnie oh my goodness you guys gotta watch my shorts with Winnie. Hi, <laughs> look at this baby. <laughs> this Winnie, everybody. She's huge. She is a huge, huge dog. Yes. Hi, baby. She wants to be out here with us. She is heavy now. Um, you can't wait to see the final window? Yes, it'll be done at 8 o'clock tonight. She did get big, huh? <laughs> she is so beautiful. I love her. She stole my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's nice today uh, the weather here is really nice it is I, today was the perfect day to do it um no amber you're fine you can go thank you honey um yes so um Yes, I'm gonna work on the head here. So you see how when I outlined it, I didn't do it perfect. And that's okay, we just need a gist of what we're doing and then we can shape it better with the sponge dapper. Allie's peeking through her window at all of you right now. Oh, and there's Winnie, because Kayla went in the house. This head is a bit lopsided. There we go. And we're going to go in with the left hand. And that is called being ambidextrous. No bueno. Yes, so if I mess up, I just put my spray cleaner on my paper towel 
and just fix my mistake. Easy peasy. Okay, is everybody in the comments still? Not seeing much over there. Jay, if you have to go, just <clears throat> text me. I've got my phone right here if you gotta go. How many of you, um, you are not the most awkward person on the planet, Amber. Stop it. You're perfect just the way you are. I love you. Isn't the head a little small? No, it's not. Based on what I'm doing, it, it's, it, it's not. It, that is, um, you're retired. <laughs> um, no, the head is supposed to be small. I promise you for this. Um, yeah, it is but it does need to come down a bit right here and right there. No, it, it's kind of a cartoonish um, type snowman that I'm going with this year. And so it's got the big, huge body that's sitting down and the smaller head. And so, um, yeah, I would show you, but no, you all have to wait. You're gonna have to wait. And I, I would even venture to say that it's kind of on the big side that I, did it on but that's okay that is okay okay so snowman is there so now i am going to work on i'm gonna say the hat is what i want to work on and i am gonna go in with the white paint and what does it say it's not kayla it's kelly yes it's i'm kelly kayla was here a second ago how do I remove it? Okay, so for those of you who are new and are just tuning in, I take any kind of spray cleaner, nothing too fancy. I spray it on my acrylic paint. I let it set for like five or 10 minutes. And then I go in with a regular old paint scraper. And as soon as it hits the window, it just scrapes right off. It's so easy. And um, I just put some paper towel down. So when the paint falls down, it falls onto the paper towel. Um, Yes, I am using acrylic paint. You can use poster paint as well. Lori, you are right. And Dollar Tree has a ton of paint too. So I would say go there. Okay, so I'm gonna do a tilted hat and it's gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go at this angle, wait. Yeah, I think that'll work. And we're just gonna go straight across. Yep. Right there. And then I'm gonna think I wanna go there. And there. Nothing fancy. And then I want it to kinda tilt in a bit. And again, we don't need perfection because um, we're going to dab it. And so when you dab it, you can form your shape better. And so with that, I'm going to go there. see that I don't know if you can see that 
Okay, then I am going to take black paint. And again, I'm just using some of Waverly's paint here. And Kayla. Oh, wow, that is really thick paint. Uh oh, that's okay. Kayla. Yeah. Can you go in my craft room and my paintbrush box is on the counter? Can you get me um, some smaller sponge dabbers? They're in that clear scrapbooking paper box. Where exactly? You'll see it open on my craft table. Oh. Not the computer one, just the craft one. Okay, um, you could use paint that thick. Hi from Maryland, hello, hello, hello. You know what, I have to tell you guys all. I am not a huge water drinker. Well, I wasn't, I am now. And, um, and I'm sorry because I'm seeing some trolls in there. Thank you, Jay, for catching that. Um, and up until I found this Smart Water, this is not a paid promotion video, I swear. I love Smart Water. Smart Water has a different taste than any other water. And this water is infused with ginseng and green tea extract. Mm hmm I need a smaller yeah, one. Here you go. Wait, no. <laughs> is that to go with like the huge... <laughs> I told her to bring me a small one. That's what she brings. You're so funny. <laughs> funny Kayla girl. So anyway, this water is the best. It comes in two different flavors and it's infused with clarity. We all need a little bit of that, don't we? Yes, this water is amazing. It tastes, has like a subtle hint of tea. Um, yes, I Smart Water is my absolute favorite in this. I can drink these by the gallons. There's an orange one that is infused with tangerine and it is for tranquility. Mm -hmm. So we can all use all the tranquility and clarity that we can get, right? But yes, I love this water. So, and I just told you that because I know somebody's going to ask me what kind of water I'm drinking. Um, does it make me smarter? <laughs> Oh, because it's smart water, Jay. You're a funny guy. <laughs> so funny. Okay, that doesn't even have paint on it. Okay, so now we're going to do the hat. And I'm going to go in with black. And um, again, just go right over that chalk paint. And then you can see how all those messy lines just get covered up. So there's like no need for perfection at all. <laughs> Wow, this paint is really thick, but I'm not going to thin it out. And that's windy, everybody. Yeah, so I'm using a smaller sponge dabber for this one. Um, you can get these at Walmart. They come in a multi-pack, which is amazing. And what's great is they're only a couple dollars. I think Dollar Tree has like a three-pack. Um, and at the end of the day... If you need to throw them out, you can throw them out. So I'll just stick with you guys for a little bit longer here, like maybe get the hat done and show you uh, where else I'm going with this. And then I'll leave you all to it so you guys can stay tuned for the video, but I'm not going anywhere yet. Do you have to spray it? I do. Wait, no, you gotta use the one by the washing machine. Oh, you do have it. Use the one by the washing machine. You wanna go back inside? I don't have anything See, so you can all kind of see that this is going with like that cartoonish feel and um, the hat is going to be just kind of a fun shaped hat, not a traditional snowman hat. And this picture is not uh, my drawing. This is one that I found off of Pinterest, just so we're clear. 
Um, again, I'm using it as a reference, but I'm going to put my own tweak on it. And I'm telling you, I feel like I'm ahead of the game, but Kayla's going to be done like way before me. And I'm going to be out here at like nine o'clock at night still doing this with my ring light on. See how fun that is? And look, there is no artistic ability needed for this. That is what I want to convey to you. Do not be intimidated to paint your window because it's easy when you use this. I think everybody should at least try it. Step out of your comfort zone and just do it. You'll surprise everybody. I am a perfectionist, you all. I don't know if you knew that or not, but I am. I probably see things that you wouldn't see, but it'll drive me bonkers if I don't fix it. And so, yeah. Look at how cute that hat is so far. And then the other thing is that you can very easily, if you mess up some of your lines, when it's dry, go in with the razor and scrape some of it away. And um, um, yeah, you can scrape some of it away with a razor if you really need to clean anything up once it's dry. And so, yeah. Yes. Oh, Kayla said we can use rubbing alcohol. Oh, Kayla's totally hooking it up so Winnie can come out here. But she's going to run over here. I'll put one over there too. Winnie's going to be joining us here pretty soon. Fred? Okay, do you guys, just so you know, so Winnie's name is Winnie, obviously, but we, when she came to us, we started making it a joke and calling her Winifred, and then somehow it went from Winnie to Winifred to now her name is Fred. Yes, our girl dog is Fred, and so whenever we call her Fred at Starbucks, they all say, oh, he's so cute, and we say, oh no, she's Fred, and they just kind of look at us like we've lost our minds, but yeah. We call her Fred. She answers to Winnie and to Fred. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, she answers to both. Okay, so once I finish this hat, I will chat with you all for a minute and let it dry, and then we'll say our goodbyes. So, Because Winnie is going to come out here and she's going to cause a ruckus.
right. Isn't that looking fun so far? So, so fun. <laughs> So just so you all know, if you never knew this, creating by far is my favorite part of what I do here on YouTube. It, everything else, I'm not going to lie, feels like a chore. The filming part feels like a chore. The editing part, I despise editing, just so you all know. That part, if I never had to edit another video again, I wouldn't. I would just keep creating and filming. I don't mind filming so much, but it's the editing part that I just, yeah, I hate it. And so, um, yeah, creating is my favorite and doing just what I'm doing right now is um, my peaceful place. This is the place where I feel like I get the most therapy from when I'm going through like a really hard time or... I'm going down a ta challenging road or something is weighing heavily on me. Um, I, I gravitate toward creating and I will get lost in my creating when I'm going through a tough time. And so, you know, today is one of those days where I just felt like, you know, I felt like my mind was clouded and, and it wasn't as positive as I want it to be. And so I just decided that I was actually going to do this tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And I just felt like, no, like I need to listen to what my body is telling me and my brain is telling me and I just need to go create because that is where I feel like my clarity comes in and where I just kind of get peace of mind. And sometimes when I'm in the midst of creating, I just kind of get lost in creating and lost in thought. And by the time I'm done creating, I feel like all my problems are ironed out. I feel like it's just as good as meditating in some ways, you know, and so I don't know if you all follow my blog, but if you, you want to follow my blog in this new journey that I'm on, the link is in the description box below of every video. It probably won't, it might be in this one too, but um, I kind of get personal in this blog because I feel like everything is personal. And so if that's something you're uncomfortable with, I suggest don't go watch it or watch it. Don't go read it. But, um, I don't have a problem getting personal with what's going on in my life and I do that because I know that there are so many people out there that are going through the same thing as I am and they feel like they're alone or they feel like nobody else is feeling the way that they're feeling and I feel like just by putting it out there and people knowing that I'm human and I'm going through it too, it maybe makes you feel less alone and maybe I handle it in a way that identifies with you and it can help you handle whatever it is that you're going through and so yeah so anyway this is my favorite part i needed this today and so that's why i decided to go live because yeah i needed some clarity and i needed some zen so that's what i'm getting today zen through my painting yeah who is this hello oh hello natalie oh somebody had twins congratulations on your twins i know uh colleen ballinger just had twins Yes, yes. Allie loves her. Miranda Sings. It was, you know, we went and watched Colleen Ballinger live when she was Miranda Sings. And we went to see her in Pomona because I love supporting other YouTubers. And um, she is just the best person. I, I just really think that she's an amazing creator here on YouTube. And so she's one of Allie's favorites. Does anybody else watch Colleen Ballinger or Miranda Sings? She's hilarious. Hmm? Uh, she went inside. Miranda is so funny. Is she not hilarious? <laughs> Colleen is so stinking talented. It kills me. Oh, thank you, Kim. Thank you, thank you. I try to be. I don't always feel like I am. You know, I have my breaking points. And so, you know, those are the times when you just lean on the people around you and they help lift you up and help remind you of what your end goal is or, you know, I feel like that's the main thing. Yeah. And so, yeah. Anywho. Enough of that. Was that you or her? That 
She said, fun fact, KB took all the extension cords. No, there's one more in the laundry room drawer or in my laundry room drawer. Oh, well. Please read my message to see if someone can help. Okay, Amanda, I'm going to need you to rewrite your message, honey. Um, Kelly, you're being a light to someone out there. Well, thank you, honey. I feel like that's what our world is lacking is honesty and transparency. You know, I really do. I feel like our, our world, and, and this is just my opinion, and so it's not to offend anybody, but I feel like nowadays with how prevalent social media is in our society, I feel like so many people are masking what is truly going on in their life and you know so many people want to make it seem like their life is this perfect picture perfect life and the reality is is life is messy you know and i feel like if more people were just honest and forthcoming about the reality of their life then there wouldn't be this pressure of having this perfect life, you know, living up to the Joneses, I guess, as you would say, you know, and, um, and so, yeah, you know, I don't, I just feel like I don't want to mask who I am and what I'm going through. Um, so yeah. Oh, it's Winnie. She's just walking around. Oh, there's black paint right there. Um, yeah, tap on the title. Wait. You know, but I feel like, you know, so much gets lost because of social media and online. And I feel like that was a huge um, wake up call for me um, when I started the, the online dating stuff is there, there's no realism anymore when when you're in that i i feel like you know you're on this job interview for people and and there's nothing real and casual and authentic about dating online and and i and i just realized that it, it was just absolutely not for me and maybe i'm stuck in the old traditional ways and i need to get out of it um and sadly there's going to be no way for me to ever meet somebody because of what i do and how often i work but it is what it is you know I, I feel like it'll come if it's supposed to come but um yeah you know I, I i miss the realism and being honest and authentic and so life isn't perfect no it isn't not by any means um absolutely not um so oh hello from wisconsin hello carol wisconsin i know somebody who lives in wisconsin yeah Milwaukee to be exact. <laughs> ah, wish I could say we're the good times there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I didn't see that last one. Illinois, love it. In Missouri. I don't think I'm really looking for anything right now, quite honestly. I feel like I just need to be me for a while. I made a new friend. That was what I hoped to get out of it. I got a new friend, I'll take it, and I'm gonna call it quits while I'm ahead. <laughs> That's what I think. Greetings from Germany. What time is it in Germany? Southern Illinois. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Jay. 
Oh, Lori, I'm not. I am not looking for it. Nope. Just had that conversation with somebody today. Not looking for it. Nope. I'm just going to hang out. And honestly, I wasn't looking for it. That is a misconception I feel like a lot of people um, had when I started my blog was that I was out searching for love. And I wasn't. I really, I swear to you, I wasn't. And that was something that I tried to convey to people was like when I started it, I started the online stuff and not to go off on a tangent, but I started it just to make new friends because I had lost so many friends in my divorce because so many of my friends came with Jeff and his job. So naturally they stayed with Jeff and his job and their husbands. And so at the end of the day, I, I was left with two friends and I, I just felt like, okay, how am I going to meet new people and make new friends? Well, I'll go online with just the intent of meeting new people to make new friends. I didn't want a relationship at all. And um, when I saw the person that I saw on there, I wasn't looking for it by any means. Um, it wasn't something I was expecting. It wasn't something that I wanted at the time. But I feel like when that happens, I mean, what do you do? And so, you know, and um, yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I'm uh, left that online world, thank goodness. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna live my life, get through these holidays, bring you more great content. Do you all know that I'm bringing to you YouTube shorts with Winnie now two days a week on top of the DIY content that I'm bringing to you. So don't forget that I will be bringing to you DIY content on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes on the weekend, like a haul or something, or a paper craft, or one of my quick and easy desserts. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can look forward to seeing Life with Vinny, Life with Vinny, oh my gosh, what movie was I thinking of? Life with Winnie. And um, there'll be just one minute YouTube shorts that I think are super fun that I'm enjoying doing with her. And so, so many of you like seeing her. And so I thought it'd be just a fun addition to my content. And so, yeah. So, you know what? It is coming up on uh, 60, an hour and 10 minutes. So I am going um, to say that if you wanna see the rest of my window here, you all are gonna have to stay tuned for the video that's coming to you in a couple of weeks, which will be fun. I am going to concentrate on getting this window done before sun goes down. It's like three o'clock, I wanna say, so I probably have like an hour and a half to two hours of sun left because I already see it coming down. So I'm gonna try and knock this out as much as I can before I need to bring out my ring light. And um, how do you the friends about their husbands hanging out with the... Jay, can you get that one off? There's no need to be ugly, people. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to focus on the positive. All right. Oh, thanks for keeping you company while you cooked dinner. You know what? Thanks for keeping me company while I painted. I know I didn't do a lot here, but you know, it was just to kind of inspire you all to do a window. I think you should try and do a window. I think you should do it and you should send me a picture on Facebook or Instagram because I'd love to see it and you could be featured as one of my crafter of the days, the KB Creations crafter of the day, which I love bringing to you all so much and you all seem to really like it. And so, yeah, with that being said, everybody, um, again, thank you all for joining me and you know what I'm going to say as always make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this uh, live feed to 5,000 likes because each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and guess what? It helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And so until next time everybody, I hope you all have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm going to say. Stay positive, everybody, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.